We have recently posted on YouTube a whole series of videos dealing with ordinary generating functions, uh, some of their basic properties, and then we use ordinary generating functions to solve combination problems and then combination problems with repeats that were considerably more complicated than what we had considered previously. And we could do that because the generating functions are so powerful. And if you go to the website at digital-university.org, all the videos are there um, in their proper sequence. And what we're doing in this video and what we did in the previous video is, again, looking at circumstances where we have to consider the coefficient of x raised to a certain power, because that was a common theme in all those uh, previous videos. So, for example, suppose that after we multiplied our generating functions together, maybe we had an expression like this, x minus 3 divided by x squared minus 3x plus 2. And when we did that division, maybe we have to find the coefficient find the coefficient of, say, x to the 50th power. How can we do that? Now, we look at this. First thing we realize is the denominator here, we can factor that. So here, this is x minus 3 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 1. And again, in this expression, we want to find the coefficient of x to the 50th power. Well, what we can do here is, using the technique of partial fractions, we can split this up into other simpler expressions that we can add together. And we're not going to explain what the technique is, because We've done that, again, if you can go to the website, and if you go to the calculus videos and look under the section of partial fractions, we explain the technique in more detail, and also we have a whole series of problems uh, where we have used that in different scenarios. And that's in the calculus section at digital-university.org. Here, what we're going to do is this is, we're going to say this is equal to these are both linear factors now, so that's equal to a over x minus 2 plus b divided by x minus 1. So we want to split this into two simpler expressions, and we have to determine what is a and what is b. So here, we multiply both sides of the equation by this, so on this side, going to have x minus 3. Then on this side, we have this expression times x minus 2 times x minus 1. Now, multiply through, what do we get? This is equal to a times x minus 1 plus b times x minus 2. So if we collect terms, we're going to have a plus b times x, ax plus bx, minus 2b minus a. And that has to equal x minus 3. So now we have to determine what is a and what is b. Well, we look here. Here we have x minus a constant. Here we have something times x minus a constant. The coefficient on that x is 1, so clearly a plus b equals 1. And here's our constant here that has to be minus 3. So minus 2b minus a equals minus 3, or we can say a plus 
plus 2b equals 3. Now, just subtract this one from this one. a minus a is 0. b will equal 2. So b equals 2. If b is 2, then a has to be negative 1. So we've determined what a and b is. So let's go back to here. We don't need this. b is equal to 2. a is equal to negative 1. And before we proceed any further, let's make some room. So now our problem initially was find the coefficient of x to the 50th in this expression, and this is equal to this. And again, we determine that using the method of partial fractions. So let's see, we have here 2 over x minus 1, and then we have minus 1 over x minus 2. Now, in the previous videos, we were working a lot with the expression of 1 over 1 minus x. Because you know what that is, that's that infinite series, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed all the way on out to infinity. So we can get this in that form there by having minus 2 over 1 minus x. So here we have minus 2 over 1 minus x. And then here we have minus 1 over x minus 2. So then we can make this plus 1 over 2 minus x. We want to get it in the general form format, though, of a 1 minus x expression. So if we multiply top and bottom by 1 half, that will give us on top 1 half. Then we'll have 1 minus x over 2. Like this. OK, so now what do we have? Now we're getting into a form that we can work with it. So we have then that x minus 3 over x minus 2 times x minus 1. That is the same thing as this plus this. And out of that expression, we want to determine the coefficient of x to the 50th. That was our original task. So from these two expressions, we want to know what is the coefficient of x to the 50th. OK, now this is minus 2 times 1 over 1 minus x. And this, as we know from working with our previous videos, so you can get this into a better focus, this is equal to this infinite series here, which we can express just like this. x to the n summed up from n equals 0 to infinity. That's what this is. That's what this is. So this term right here, this gives us, this is equal to minus 2 times x to the n summed from n equals 0 to infinity. OK, now we have this term to work with. Well, this is just 1 half times 1 over 1 minus 
x over 2. And then that's going to give us this expression. We're simply going to have the infinite series of x over 2 to the n. n goes from 0 to infinity. So this term here, 1 over 1 minus x over 2, the first term is 1. The second term would be x over 2. The third term would be x squared over 4. The third term would be x cubed over 8, and so forth. This would be this, which we can sum up like this. So here we have plus 1 half times this expression, n equals 0 to infinity of x over 2 to the n. Try to keep it in focus now. OK, so here we are. And what are we interested in? Oh, yes. We have to determine the coefficient of x to the 50th power. So that shouldn't be too difficult. It looks like we've done most of the work by now. Let's see. Here we would have minus 2 times x to the 50th. Then on this side, we're going to have plus 1 half x to the 50. divided by two to the fifty. So let's see, we want the coefficient of x to the fiftieth. Now here this can be written as one over two to the fifty one power. Get rid of this. That would be two to the fifty one power. So the coefficient of x to the fifty would be 1 over 2 to the 51 power minus 2. And there it is. That's our coefficient of x to the 50. So going back to here, when we have this, the coefficient of x to the 50, again, 1 over 2 to the 51 power minus 2. That's the coefficient, and that's the procedure in this circumstance of what you'd have to use um, to find that coefficient. So again, what we've tried to do um, really is, since there's no pat technique that works in all circumstances is through the series of videos that we presented is try to um, present different scenarios and in each case the thinking that goes into finding the coefficient of x raised to a certain power because when we're using generating functions to solve problems that's always a constant theme that we have to employ so anyway that's it for this video hope it was worthwhile for you and come back join us for some more videos and we'll see if we can solve some more problems